What is up, gang? Nick here. Welcome to the show if you're new. Thanks for coming back if you're not. If you have tuned into the show before, you will know my core investment thesis is innovative disruption and focusing on brands and companies that will be extremely well positioned for the coming environment. The subject of today's episode is no exception, and it's centered on one of my all-time favorite things in life, pets. You may remember when I told you all the pet industry would likely see a massive surge throughout 2020, as people were going to be spending much more time within their homes. With the advent of decentralized workplaces, online school, less spending, increased discretionary savings, and forced lockdowns, analysts very early on noted that there was no question pets and pets related companies would see a surge. I told you all I was going in on Chewy, and they have since skyrocketed more than 225% since our initial position. The company I want to talk about today is within the same sphere with a unique twist, placing them into a great niche. Before we get it today, make sure you check out our Patreon page. There's more content there under the radar stocks, up and comers, and this also gives you access to our private Discord channels. This is where you'll find all of our real-time trades and portfolios. We're up over 50% on our penny stock portfolio and i'm confident we'll get over 100 check it out it really does help out the channel and more importantly i'd really appreciate it make sure to always come to your own conclusions whenever allocating capital on the stock market penny stocks do have more potential reward however this does come with more risk do your own due diligence. Disclaimer, this is a sponsored video. Make sure to always come to your own conclusions. Formulate your own decisions. Don't just take my word for it because I'm saying it on the internet. It is your duty as an investor. I'm not a financial advisor. Anyways, everyone, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to first go over who the company is and what it is they do. I'll then go over their business operations, where they see their company moving in the coming months, quarters, and years, and how they are going to create a niche. Lastly, I'll go over their statistics, financials, balance sheet, management, and charting. Okay, so the company of today's episode is called Better Choice Company, trading on the OTC market under ticker symbol BTTR. They are positioned in, yes, the greatest thing on earth, pets. They are an animal health and wellness company and are striving on giving pets healthier products and services to enable them to live healthier and longer lives. They do this by using an alternative nutrition-based approach and are growing a portfolio of brands that will benefit from the shift in mainstream trends to increased pet humanization. The pet industry absolutely exploded last year and pets are actually becoming increasingly prioritized and cared for in households. It's estimated that the U.S. pet industry reached a whopping $99 billion in 2020, around 9 billion more than was seen just in 2018. Yes, almost $100 billion, and pet food accounted for around $38.4 billion of this, according to the American Pet Products Association. Now, what is really interesting to me is the shift we have seen in pet food over the course of the last few years, and this has only been catalyzed during the recent health situation. Now, 69% of millennials opt for their pets to natural and organic products. 43% of dog owners and 41% of cat owners buy premium pet food. This is showing by the stats that an increasingly growing quantity of pet owners are willing to spend a premium on ensuring their pets are able to receive healthy and organic sources of nutrition. Krill Pet states that the functional pet food ingredients that offer proven health benefits will most likely be a focal point of major pet food brands for the years to come. This puts better choice into a very unique and enticing position for the coming landscape. Now what's more is that 2020 saw a massive and rapid shift to the online shopping sphere. This was catalyzed by the health situation and lockdowns. However, it's expected to carry throughout 2021 and beyond. We saw stocks of e-commerce platforms like Amazon and Shopify absolutely boom and e-commerce online brands like Chewy completely break out. Better Choice saw 60% of net sales concentrated in e-commerce and direct to consumer and both of these segments are growing at 15 to 20%. 20% or more annually. They saw demand for premium Western manufactured products from Asia, and China appears to be the largest market for growth potential. Chinese shoppers could potentially spend around $7 billion 
on pet services and products by 2022. Dog and cat food were around 2.2 billion in 2018 and could reach around 6.1 billion in 2025 with a compounded annual growth rate of approximately 28.9%. This is showing just how rapidly and intense this market is. And I really do like this Asian market. I do think it is going to expand faster than the rest. Better Choice plans to continue its expansion in Asia and additional international markets. This is a rapidly growing market. We have seen e-commerce based platforms like Chewy and Amazon take off and this could potentially continue as our world shifts. In Q3 2020, net sales in Asia were around $3 million, a 27% increase over Q2, and an incredible 47% increase from Q1. They are accelerating sales throughout the Asian markets in Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, Philippines, China, and Australia. They do have a strong focus on e-commerce. This represents 40% of their sales, and I do like that they are pushing themselves into the sphere. Now, they have a growing portfolio of Halo pet food brands. This is natural dog and cat food, treats and supplements and true dog brand a natural freeze-dried dog food toppers treats and these two companies are increasing their revenue and they are looking to increase their portfolio so whenever looking at a company i like to look at their management they have a very reputable strong management team with with tons of experience within e-commerce and the industry and they are driving the growth of this company to put this growth into perspective, Better Choice in the first three quarters of 2020 alone reported revenue of about $33.3 million, representing an approximate 187% increase from the same period in 2019. Alright, going to their charting, they are sitting at just $1.33 USD and have been surging for the past few months. They are trading up over 215% since just last September and have a market cap of now $65.36 million, making them a micro cap company. They have a massive 52 week delta with a high of $2 even and a low of 0.24. They are generating revenue, which many micro cap companies can't state. Their quarterly revenue has been growing the past few months, up 9.9 .9 million to 11.1 .1 million in the last quarter and 37.31 million in the trailing 12 months. Their cost of revenue has also increased with this along with their operating expenses, which is currently chewing into their profits, something they will have to mitigate in the coming quarter. They have an extremely small float of just 32.51 million shares, so when good news is announced, shares will typically surge, however the same should be noted of the opposite. I do think this is a fascinating company that could potentially continue surging throughout the next few years. I like their management, their charting, and they do have an interesting product positioned in a growing market. I do think we will see pets and their products increase in prevalence in the coming years, and as health and nutrition gain steam in our environment, they may be poised to dominate the landscape. Anyways, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Check out our Patreon page. Like I said, I will be posting every single one of my trades moving throughout 2021 on there. I did finish 2020 with over a 50% ROI. You don't want to miss any of those trades. There's behind the scenes, more content, and this also gains you access to our private Discord channels. This is where you'll see all of my real-time trades. The chat is always popping off. There's under the radar stocks. You do not want to miss it. I am looking for moderators right now, and if you do want to be a moderator, let me know. Send me a PM on Patreon. Patreon. Remember to always come to your own conclusions whenever allocating capital on the stock market. Penny stocks do come with more reward. However, this does come with more risk. Do not allocate any capital that you cannot afford to lose. This would not be a smart investment. Make sure to always come to your own conclusions. Do your own research. Do your due diligence. This is your duty as a smart investor. Don't just take my word for it because I'm saying it on the internet. Anyways, everyone, I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Happy trading. Cheers.